Political ads on social media are stirring controversy today after Facebook is accused of censoring an anti-abortion message. The organization behind the ad believes Facebook removed it deliberately. News 4's Rebecca Cardenas is live in downtown Nashville with reaction. Tom Tracy, the organization behind this ad say they are frustrated because they believe its message is important for voters to hear. And especially because you're seeing more and more political ads on social media now than ever before. So much of the political discourse is happening online these days, and so it's important for us to be in that space. The timing of it all um, is very suspect. An anti-abortion organization slams Facebook after the social media network suspended several of their ads. Facebook is a tool uh, that both sides are using to communicate with voters. In a time when social media dominates the political spot, Marsha Blackburn says the removal of those ads is even more frustrating. To build that community online and to reach people to expand your message, and that is a really good thing and is very useful. People like it and they appreciate it. What they don't appreciate is when one of the platforms decides to uh, censor Facebook issued this apology to SBA List. It says in part, this ad does not violate Facebook's policies and should never have been disapproved. We're sorry for the mistake. I'm glad they realized that they made a mistake and they were censoring something that ought not to be censored. And um, we are happy that SBA List has had their ad restored. Now, SBA List tells me several similar ads of theirs have been removed in different states, in four different states, I should say, since early October, and all of them have since been put back on Facebook. I also reached out to the Bredesen campaign about this. They did give me a response back. The spokesperson commenting specifically on this ad uh, saying that, quote, it is unfortunate that Congresswoman Blackburn continues to double down on negativity rather than offer her ideas for Tennessee. Tom and Tracy. Rebecca Cardin tonight. Thank you very much. Early voting is now over, which means if you did not cast your vote for the midterms, you will have to wait until Election Day, November 6th. The turnout for early voting hit some record highs here in Tennessee and Davison County alone. More than 160,000 voters hit the polls again, Election Day, November 6th.